What is up everybody? How's it going? Hopefully you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be discussing everything about my 3DS and my experience with it and kind of just want to share a lot about um, what's been going on um, with what I've been doing with the 3DS. Um, so let's first start off with a little backstory. So back in high school, a lot of my friends had the DS and I think um, the 3DS XL, I think. Um, this was around 2012 to 2014, and they played a lot of Pokemon. Um, don't know if they played any other games, but I didn't have a 3DS at the time. My main primary handheld was PSP. Totally different competition, and they didn't own anything of um, PlayStation. So um, they mostly played the DS, and so I was really kind of a little bit jealous, but also kind of felt like left out. And so once 2014 happened... I got to make my own money, and I bought myself the new Nintendo 3DS XL. And the backstory behind that actually is that early in 2014, I want to say this is around like November, December. No, this is around maybe October, November. My friend was like, no, just wait. Because at the time, I was really interested in like the Super Smash Brothers 3DS XL. My friend was like, no, just wait. Um, there's going to be a much better version. And so like every week or every few weeks, I would be like, hey, um, should I still wait? And he's like, yeah, just wait. I promise you. It's going to – the next big thing is coming. And so I'm like, okay. And so I waited and waited. And then once – I think it was like January or end of December or sometime, the new Nintendo 3DS XL was announced. And I actually bought that from – um, GameStop's website. Um, I forgot the exact date on when it came, but basically, um, my mailbox room closed at like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. and it arrived at 3:42. So I basically had to haul ass and pick up that thing um, to get it because this is a Friday, and so if. Mailbox closed. I had to wait till the following Monday. So I was like, nope, I need, I need to pick this up now. And so I did. Um, and I got the red 3DS XL. Um, there was the Majora's Mask. I'm not a huge Legend of Zelda fan. And then there's another one. I'm blanking on the other special edition. Um, but basically, I got the red because I really like red. It was, it was that or gray. Um, so I decided to go with shiny red. And so basically, this is what it is. I got. Uh, um, the red Nintendo 3DS XL, um, and yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good system. It's, it's still very powerful, um, seven, even seven years later. Um, the only thing is with it though, um, don't know if you guys can see, um, but on the very corner, you can see there's like, um, I'm losing pixels and there's, it's, um, on the corner that's kind of small doesn't really affect gameplay that much but it's kind of annoying um, and so that's kind of like um, what what's going on with the screen right now I could get it replaced but that's like $150 or something like that I'm like you know what I don't know um, and it's very hard to replace the top screen as well it's very more difficult than the bottom screen so it was very tough but and that's kind of, kind of like the current condition. I did strip the screws on the back here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, I basically, the screen was popping off, so I just tore it off. And it was fine. Um, the screws stayed in place. Um, the back plate um, can just reattach um, and stay in place without the screws. Otherwise, it, it does have some forms of oxidation. And so... Um, otherwise it's still a very powerful system. Um, and I still play it to this day sometimes. I'm at more recently too. Um, and so let me share some of the, um, games I have on it. So i basically, when I first started off, um, these are kind of like the beginning games. I bought a humble bundle deal that gave me some games on the Nintendo DS as well. That was back in 2015, 2016. I remember to my knowledge. Um, but basically, I'm going to go over the games. So we got Fire Emblem Awakening. I got 
into that game, but the thing was, I got stuck on one level, couldn't beat it, so I just kind of just gave up. Um, still need to go back and play it, maybe try it. Um, then after that was Pokemon Omega Ruby. Oh my gosh, fantastic game right there. Um, I bought the strategy guide to help me out, and it still was a fantastic game. Now this one I bought because of the hype. They did a lot of good marketing for it, got me hooked, even though I hated the franchise. Um, don't hate me for hating the franchise, it's just not my style. And that is Monster Hunter 4 Freedom Unite, or Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, sorry. Um, and this one was a, a hard game because it, it doesn't really tell you where to go, what direction. You need to like, it tells you, oh, kill these three things, but they don't tell you what they are, where they are. And so you kind of just have to figure everything out on your own. Now this one's an interesting one. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Now this one I did play. I think I got pretty far into it, like three or four hours. Um, and then I kind of just gave up and moved on to another game. And the same goes for this next game as well. It's the Legend of Zelda, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, I barely got started in that game. Um, I think I got to a place where it's like lava and you have to jump over some rocks or something like that. Um, I think that was where I stopped. And the game I really am excited for that I actually got on the 3DS, especially the new Nintendo 3DS that I could play it, is Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Mm. Beautiful game right there. Um, as you can tell, um, kind of from the background, the background is kind of like my Xenoblade Chronicles theme. And so that's kind of like what's been happening. Um, and so I love Xenoblade Chronicles. I got pretty far... And then I got to the point where I didn't level up correctly, so I was like a level 24, and everyone else was like a level 30, and I'm like, I could either do lots of grinding or just give up now. So I kind of just gave up and moved on. The other one I didn't really play much of because I just didn't know the style of it was Super Street Fighter V. Um, this is the 3D edition, and it was a good game. I got this through hum Humble Bundle, and it was a good game. I just didn't play much of it. And then going to the smaller games, um, I think I bought this actually, was F0, the Virtual Console. Um, yeah, and I, I really like that one. Um, I'm just not good, good at or played it that much. Um, it's a ton of old graphics, so it's hard to see turns and stuff like that. Um, and you'll see a bunch of these is that they would came through a whole bundle these next few games. Um, sorry, my eye itches. And so the next one is Rhythm Time. This one, I it was, it was like a dancing game or something like that. Where you had the kind of like a Guitar Hero based game where you had to press the buttons. Um, and yeah, it it just didn't settle right for me. So another one was Citizens of Earth. I barely played much of it, but I I did like the story of what it had to, what it was going for. Can't really tell, tell you much about it. All I know is that you played with some mayor and controlled the city. The other one I really liked, I, th I think I played a few levels of this, Shant Shanty's Pirate Curse. Um, good game right there. Can't really say much about it either. Um, Nano Soul, I, I, can't, I can't remember much about this game. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I can't remember playing it. This one um, was... Um, Retro City Rampage, yeah, I need to update it. I haven't played this game in a while, but it's kind of like a GTA clone, I guess, um, of what I played. And then I also got Minecraft, of course, and then Nintendo New th Nintendo 3DS Edition. Um, and then I did get Cut the Rope. I know this is like an iOS game, but I, I did like it, so I kind of like got it to play here and there. Um, Final Fantasy V Advance. I know, I think this is a GBA game. Um, so I did get that as well. I need to play it. And then Mario Kart Super Circuit. I believe this is GBA as well. Um, I still need, a lot of these games I still need to play because I just don't play the 3DS that much. Um, and then you got... Um, this one was my favorite game of all time on the 3DS, hands down. Um, I, I enjoyed the crap out of it, and it was a really great game. And that is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, I remember I had a lot of bells when I ended, but I still didn't end up 
finishing my house because it was so expensive, no matter what I did, because I kept on doing the daily tasks, like um, getting all the coins and finding the collectibles and selling them plants, flowers, stuff like that. Um, and, I, and I bought the new one on the Switch as well, so that was fun. Um, this next one is Pokemon Moon. This one brought back a lot of memories because me and my roommate at the time, he bought the Pokemon Sun. Um, and so basically we, he thought we would, he would be playing in the, um, daytime, but actually it's the exact opposite in the games. So that's what's been happening. And then this next one was kind of like one of the main reason or one, the main reason I bought the, um, 3DS XL or 3DS, um, cause I really wanted to play Smash Brothers on the go. Right. So I got Super Smash Brothers um, the 3D uh, for Nintendo 3DS. And this was a great game. I had a roommate back in the day who owned the Wii U. So we would play together and I would connect my 3DS to its console and we would play that way, virtual console. We had a lot of fun times. That one was a great game from like 2014, 2016 until Ultimate came out later on and it kind of just, everyone just abandoned it. Um, the next one is Mario Kart 7. Mm, beautiful game right there. Um... Yeah, everything I could say about that is that the tracks were beautiful, it's, the 3D was great, um, so it was a good game. And then the other game I actually got recently was Pokemon Y. Um, I, I, I heard this is a really good game, so I'm going to replay it, or not replay, I'm going to play it. Um, so it's, I only played Pokemon Omega Ruby and Moon on the 3DS, I need to play the other games as well. And then I basically have an unimportant folder, which is like the basic... Um, applications of the game um yeah i can't really say much about this it. it's like the regular stuff you would find on the 3ds um and then i only have one demo uh, i don't know why i have this demo but super smash brothers i think i have 26 more uses so i still have lots of uses to go through and of course i have um flip note studio on the main page and then the last folder i want to get into is the um the new games. Let me see if I can resize it here. So these are kind of like the newest games I got and they are Super Mario 3D Land. Um, this one was my one I really wanted to play on the 3DS for a long time. It's been pretty expensive physical. Um, I decided to cave in and get it on the 3DS as well. Um, this one I actually did get through a Target gift card, but ended up selling it to GameStop because I just didn't want it. It was a complete waste of money, and I was not naive at the time. I just didn't know what to do with money. So, luckily, I'm a little bit wiser. So, Mario, Mario Party, the top 100, I bought it physical, like I said, but I think I opened the packaging and do the freaking um, limitations and regulations target couldn't take it back and so i just had to sell it to GameStop because i just didn't want it i felt guilty for buying it and the next one was star fox 64 3d i heard this was a really good game so i decided to get it as well um it's a great shooter i heard um it has a really good control mic um you can easily control the ship and the mechanics are great in the game so i decided to get it as well um, this one I actually did play when I got the first uh, 3DS a little bit, and I really like it because um, Woohoo Island, if you know that, you probably know what game I'm going to talk about. And that is Pilot Wings Resort. Now, this one is a great game because you play, I think, as three different aerial vehicles um, and go around doing challenges across Woohoo Woo Island. So. That was a great one. The next one I still need to play is Kid Icarus Uprising. Great game right there. Um, I heard it's really great. And so I need to play it to kind of like get into Pitt's um, origin story, I think. Um, and then going on to the next game is Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Now this one is kind of like a lawyer game. And I really like games like that where you kind of like have to judge. I think it's somewhat similar to L.A. Noir. Even though I think it's totally different, but somewhat way to make your own choices. Um, these next two ones are The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, this one 
was very popular when I first got the 3DS because they did a hev heavily marketing. This was around 2014, and they heavily marketed the 3DS and Legend of Zelda. Um, I didn't buy it. Again, I'm not a huge Legend of Zelda fan. Um, so I, I still need to play Majora's Mask, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it after. And then this one I actually really wanted to play. Legend of Zelda, a Link Between Worlds, amazing game. Um, I didn't play it, but of what the gameplay I have seen, it's really good. Really good. And then going on from Animal Crossing, I know I played New Leaf, but this one was after. I never played it, but I still want to. It's Happy Home Designer. Um, and so I'll let you know what you guys think of that. And then... This one is Luigi's Mansion. Um, I played Dark Moon. Didn't really beat it, but I need to go and play the original too. Um, see what I think. And then my last two games I want to share are Mario Tennis Open. I'm really I'm a huge sucker for tennis games. And so um, I, I really like Mario Tennis um, of what i played so far. I play, only played a couple matches. But it's really good. And then this one I actually did own a Nintendo DS when it first came out, but then I lost it somewhere. I, I don't remember where I lost it, but basically I lost it. And this was like one of the primary games I played. It does Nintendogs. Um, very, very cute game right there. Um, it's, uh, I need to play that. So those are all my games I have so far installed on my 3DS. This, this thing lasts a super long time so far. Um, it's going seven years strong. Even though I probably played maybe a maximum maybe two years of total of that time because I just moved on to other stuff, mostly PlayStation. Um, especially for the Switch. Um, I don't play much of the Switch. Um, just because like there's only a few games I like out of it and it's just not worth it. So um, I think I only played like Mario Kart 8. Super Smash Brothers and maybe some Breath of the Wild. Like I said, some. Um, so going off, that was a little bit off track, but going back to the 3DS, it, it's an amazing system. Um, I, I don't have any physical games at the moment, but mostly they're all digital, um, which is fine by me. I mean, I still have the license. They haven't banned me yet for anything or anything like that. So I'm still going strong with Nintendo. Um, and it's a good, it's a really good system. Uh, very powerful too. Not many people actually got into it. And I was actually thankful for my friend to give me suggestions, um, that to just wait. And so, and I waited and therefore I got the, the powerful system, the powerful system. Um, and it's a good system so far. I haven't opened up on anything. So I think the warranty is still valid. Um, even though I'm pretty sure it's not, um, yeah, and then that's kind of like my journey throughout the 3DS. And so if you guys have any similar journeys or any games you have to recommend or anything like that, let me know. Um, the 3DS is still going strong. Kind of like the um, PS3, even though it's ending soon. Um, it, it still has a very strong life cycle. And this is a very, very powerful console. Um, it still looks beautiful. Um even though the uh, pixel, I have pixel degradation. Um, I, I love the system. It's it's a great system and it has a lot to offer. Just because there, it still has a lot of games that they made. Um, but also just because it looks cool. I mean, this system looks cool already. It's it even though it's, it has to fit the thing with bigger hands. Um, it, the 3D is great. Like the features that got me into it were better 3D, amiibo support, which I still have a few amiibos on hand. Um, didn't sell my whole entire collection. And then um, what was the other thing? Faster, faster, um, faster performance, so they can have Xenoblade Chronicles, a Wii game, on the 3DS. Um, so that was very cool. So those are the top three reasons they got the 3DS. But um, thank you guys for watching. And those are all my games and my experience with the 3DS. You guys are welcome to share if you have any other experiences or asking questions. Um, but thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well. And just staying good overall. And I'll see you guys later. Later. Bye.